Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a long overdue empties. Um, so I just checked my last empties video was posted six months ago. So this is like over six months worth of product. And oh my God, here's the bag. That's how it's looking. It's broken and overflowing. And I even have more stuff on the side here so definitely this needs to be done i don't even remember what's in here really so it'll be a surprise for both of us um let's just get these two out of the way because they don't even fit in the bag but i'm very excited about these two because they're both body scrubs and i am not good at using pretty much anything body except shower gel <laughs> of course um, but this was the Sugar Crush Body Scrub from Soap and Glory. Smashed brown sugar and sweet lime, almond oil, and macadamia grains. This smelled amazing, but it, should, it was so big. I have had this for years, and I'm happy to say that it's finally done. Maybe, does it still smell? Yes, I love it. I wonder if they have other stuff with this scent because it's amazing. I love the smell of lime. Um, yeah, but this, like the actual product, I don't know. I mean, it's a scrub. I just feel like body scrubs, you're just kind of wasting. I mean, I guess it's the same for like shampoo and all that stuff that you rinse off, but like, you know what I mean? It doesn't stay on the skin. Does that make sense? But it did smell good. I'm just not a body scrub person, to be honest. And then I had this from Lush, which was also way past its expiry date, the cookie dough scrub. I find, well, to be honest, this is not totally empty. I don't want to open it though, because what happened is that the sugar parts, because like it was like down to here and I was trying to use it up. But then the last time I opened this, the sugar parts were like melted into a thick paste that I can't even get out of the jar. And the oil is like on top. So this has to go. Um, I haven't emptied it yet because, well, for one, I'm not sure if I should even empty that down the drain of my old bathtub drain. But... Also, does Lush do like a thing if you bring in empties, you get a face mask? Do they still do that? Because I feel like I have other empties from Lush, unless I got rid of them. I'm not sure. I have to look into that. But yeah, these two are done. Then we'll get into the bag itself. I'll just randomly. I have another body product. So this Nair hair remover, Shower Power. This is, okay, I bought this because I don't like the way I have to shave my legs <laughs> in my new, it's not new, it's like, anyway, my bathroom is, this house is just very extremely old and I have like a claw foot bathtub and it's very hard to like shave my legs in a comfortable way. So I thought, oh, I'll use this, but it doesn't work. Like... I don't know, and it smells weird. I'm just, no, not a fan. Wouldn't repurchase this. This is very old. It says it's the sensitive formula. Um, there's 100% natural coconut oil and vitamin E, and it has a light, gentle scent. I don't find. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this. I don't know if they have a new version that doesn't smell as much, but you know the smell of hair removers. That's what that is. So yeah, that's done. I also finally finished, and I didn't keep the actual box, but these Olay Daily Facials. These were cloths. Well, here's the picture. Like a cloth like this that you wet, and it naturally, like it has the soap already in the cloth, and it suds up. I actually really liked these. This is not something I feel like I need to go out and buy. I just used it because I had it and it's also really good like when you're lazy and you don't want to do 
your full like skincare routine but maybe like you had a bit of makeup on that day you can use these instead i actually bought these probably like three three or four years ago when i first started my channel because of nikki tutorials she was like raving about these but then this was before i understood <clears throat> Like I knew about sponsorships and then I realized it was a sponsored video. <laughs> but anyway, I did end up really liking them. Just, I don't need something like that. I should use my actual skincare. Also, it's kind of wasteful. You know, you use it once and then you throw it away. So yeah, <clears throat> that's that. And then I finished my, did I finish all of these? Yeah, the Peace Out Acne 20 Acne Treatment. 20 acne treatment dots these are like those little patches you put on breakouts i don't have like acne prone skin but i do get you know um these kind of breakouts around here mostly because i pick at my skin and i cause them myself but i did like these because i wouldn't say like if you had a really bad i don't know a really like cystic acne kind of situation. I don't think this would work, but it did, I find help to like flatten because when I get breakouts, they're the kind like under the skin that are like sometimes painful. And this just helps to like flatten them a bit. Um, yeah, but you're not really supposed to use them on like an active, like open wound, you know what I mean? So, but, yeah, I did like these. There was two packs of 10, so there's 20. So it did last me a long time. Um, oh yeah, there's gonna be some like eye patches in here, <clears throat> probably. Probably more of these, the Beauty Bio Bright Eyes. Okay, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I just need to take a sip of coffee. <laughs> <clears throat> the Beauty Bio Bright Eyes Depuffing and Brightening Eye Gels. I have so many of these. In September, I did Sheet Mask September. Um, it's a project, I think it was created by Jaylon from J Loves Beauty. And I just followed along with her, like in my own. I didn't film any videos on it, but I used tons of um, these, like, single use things. But I have a lot of eye ones left. And I realize I don't like eye patches in single packages. It's so cumbersome. Like you have to open this, get them out. It's always like this really slimy tray that you have to like pull apart. Sometimes you throw out the eye, the eye patch itself by accident. Anyway. <laughs> So I'm just trying to get through these. I don't know if there's more in here, but I, st I know I still have more to use. Um, and did I like these? I don't They're all right. I still really just love the Peter Thomas Roth, the gold ones, but I never buy them because they're so expensive. But yeah, not my like favorite. Also would not repurchase single packet. Do you know what I mean? Like the Peter Thomas Roth ones, they come in a jar. So you you take them as you go. You don't have to open. That's what I mean by that. Um, I have another shower gel from Lush. I really liked this one. This is the Sleepy shower gel, right? It says Sommeil because I live in Quebec, but I'm pretty sure it's called Sleepy in English. Um, the lavender, like purple one, really liked this. I would repurchase that. The only thing is, I don't necessarily, like when I shower, I don't want to feel sleepy. I want to wake up, <laughs> you know? Um, anyway, then I have this La Roche-Posay uh, Thermal Spring Water for Sensitive Skin. This was my daily, like my morning toner. I was using this when I got out of the shower. I really liked it. It's just water, so I don't know what it does, but it felt nice. Um, then I have a shower gel, the body wash and bubble bath in the shade, the shade, in the scent one from Mode. 
This is a line that carries, how shall we say, feminine hygiene <laughs> type type products um like they're ph balanced and all of that and i did like this but i did not like the packaging because the bottle is so this is hard hard plastic to the point where you can't actually like squeeze it out so i had to have it upside down and even then it was like not easy to get out of the bottle so i wouldn't repurchase this but i like the smell it was amber cedar leaf clove, lemongrass, medjool date, and tonka bean. I wonder if they have other stuff with this scent because I did like that part of it. And then when I, th I guess when I finished that one, was it? I went to just use up this Aveda Shampoo hand and body wash. I used it as a shower gel. I got this um, from Ipsy like add-ons. Uh, because I used to work at Aveda, if you didn't know, and this shampoo smell is just, this is like the classic Aveda smell. Everybody loves it. Everybody would always come in the store and ask for, what's that smell that Aveda is known for? It's the shampoo. Um, so when I saw this was like a little add-on, I was like, put it in my bag. And <laughs> in hindsight, I probably should have saved this for traveling, but... I really just wanted to revisit Shampier scent. Um, then I have here a Beauty Stat Universal Pro Bio Moisture Boost Cream. Another product I got from Ipsy, um, not from an add on, it was like, you know, in my box. Um, this, I didn't mind it, but now that I stopped using this i realized this was not hydrating enough for my skin so i wouldn't like run out and buy this again yeah i also don't know anything about this brand beauty stat yeah i liked it but it's it wasn't like like i said hydrating enough for me in the winter months at least i also finished a um exfoliator for the face this is a Pure Lease Yuzu and Orange Exfoliator. This is, um, so I have an exfoliator, a face exfoliator in my shower at all times. That's what I use to wash my face in the shower. Um, this one, I didn't love it. I don't, like it doesn't pop out to me. I think I'm liking the one I'm using now better, which is from Juice Beauty. Yeah. So wouldn't buy, wouldn't repurchase that even though I didn't technically, I didn't purchase this. I purchased the Boxy Charm or the Ipsy, whatever it's called, <laughs> that it came in there. Uh, another product from Ipsy, the Sweet Chef Ginger Kombucha and Vitamin D Chill Mist. This was fun. I think I mainly just like the packaging and like the presentation. It smells nice, but I don't know if it did anything. I was using this as a toner. Like after I finished this one, I moved on to this. So it's my like after shower morning toner. That's what I use that for. It's supposed to hydrate, soothe, and cool. Sure. Um, I have a, another like travel size. This is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. This is one of my favorite shampoos. You might know I've recommended it in like Sephora VIB sale recommendations videos. I do like the travel size because it comes in a tube and this is normally in a jar. Um, but yeah, I do, I have, I have this already, I, so I have repurchased it. I haven't opened it yet because I'm trying to use um, the Way Detox Shampoo. And I don't think I need to use a detox shampoo and an exfoliating shampoo. That just seems like too much, too much detoxing going on. So, but I will be opening up the full size that I have of this um, when I'm done that one. Oh, I see some essential oils. This is exciting because one of these was in my whole collection project. 
the Young Living Peace and Calming. I love this. I would repurchase it, but the point of adding essential oils to my um, Tiny Decisions app is to use them up because I don't have any more room for more. The way that I store them, there's they're at like max capacity, so I'm not repurchasing essential oils unless I don't have unless I like have a space opened up and I really need it. But yeah, love this one. Um, this is a blend, a blended essential oil. So it's already, you know, other different kinds of essential oils. I don't remember exactly what the scent is on this, but this is one that people use as like their perfume even, or like they carry it in their purse. Um, Cause it just smells, so nice. It is, in case you're wondering, citrus tangerine peel essential oil, tansy. Is that it? Okay, I don't know how to read these bottles. <laughs> oh, here. Orange, orange, ylang ylang, tangerine, and tansy, I guess. I don't know. Nice and like. Vacation -y. I think my this is really gross, but I think my nose is running from <laughs> from the Too Faced Lip Injection lip liner that I'm wearing. It's burning my lips. It's a very strange sensation. I don't know, that or allergies. Um anyway, moving on. I have another essential oil, purification. This one is um what I put in my diffuser when I want like my house to smell clean. Um, it's very like medicinal. Uh, I love it though. These two, I really like them. I don't need to, I think I already have a backup of purification, so I don't need to repurchase that. But yeah, two essential oils out of my collection. We have some boring stuff like toothpaste. Oh, so you guys know my favorite, well, if you watch my other empties videos, my favorite toothpaste was the Crest, right? Yeah, Crest Glamorous White. I can't find that in stores, like in my local stores anymore, but I did find it in Ontario. So I have a backup of that one, but I don't know if it's being sold anymore. Um, but anyway, I got this one from a Makeup by Cheryl recommendation. This is the one she uses and her teeth look amazing. The Colgate Optic White Renewal. Um, High Impact White is the one that I got. Um, oh, I didn't really like this because I found the taste lingered in my mouth. Like, I really don't like that. And I don't know if that's like even healthy to have like, you know, fluoride toothpaste lingering in your mouth all day, you know? <laughs> so I'm not gonna repurchase that one, but I did repurchase the Crest one. And the one I'm using now is also actually from Young Living, from the essential oil company. Their toothpaste is, I really like it. It's, I don't think it's whitening even though the one I have is the whitening one. Um, it's not as whitening as like your, you know, drugstore traditional toothpaste, but I still like it and it doesn't linger in my mouth. Anyway, that's just my toothpaste rant. Um, then I have a toner. This is very exciting because this is so old and I finally finished it. Um, the Corez. That's not in English. <laughs> Cora's, oh, pomegranate pore refining toner. I did not like this. This smelled like it was just alcohol in a bottle. Although it didn't dry out my skin, I just didn't like the smell of it. It might've been expired, to be honest. I got it in a boxy charm. Like when they used to do those, I don't know, mega drop, who knows. Oh, here's all my masks. These are probably, so what I was talking about before when I did sheet mask September, 
I'm sure these are remnants from that. We have the Mango Hand Mask from Sephora. This was really good, actually. If you have very dry hands and you want like a thick treatment, but don't have to be doing anything with your hands for like half an hour, <laughs> then I would recommend this. It was really moisturizing. Um, then I have a Tony Moly Illuminating I'm Lotus Sheet Mask. I don't remember anything about this. A Dr. Jart Carbonic Acid Peeling Mask. I don't remember even using that, but okay. Um, a Moisturizing Foot Mask. I think these were a pack from like Winners or Marshalls or something. Um, they're okay. I think I like the Sephora one better. Speaking of that, I have one. Oops, I moved the camera. I have one right here. The Sephora Coconut Foot Mask. I really like these. Because these have, um, a little tab where you can actually, like, walk around with them and they don't slip off your feet. So I like that. I like this. This is, I've repurchased this mask, like, three three times now I want to say the two-in-one oil mask you only put this on for one minute so I think that's what I like about it <laughs> it's with um, aloe vera oil so if you um, if your skin is just feeling like inflamed or irritated that's a nice like soothing mask um, then I have a Avocado pre-moistened facial mask from Relaxus Beauty. I think oh there's dust. I think this one was in my stocking. Not last year, but the year before. Or maybe even before that. <laughs> but I I don't remember if I liked it. Um and then I finally did this. This Do of the Gods, the Weekend Glow Challenge. This was two masks that you, well, you know, it's marketed as a weekend challenge. So you do one on Saturday and one on Sunday. I, that's how I did it, I believe. Uh, I don't remember. But I do remember during Sheet Mask September, my skin was looking really nice because I was using a different mask every day sometimes like two like sometimes i do the eye mask and the sheet mask or even sometimes a foot mask so yeah that was fun actually oh yeah so here's more i think this is mainly what was taking up all the room oh another toothpaste oh here's the one crest glamorous white this is the one that i like um, this is a soothing sheet mask, aloe infused from Give Them Lala Skin. I don't remember anything about that. Uh, these ones I did not like. The, uh, how do you say this brand? 111 Skin or 111 Skin. Uh, Rose Gold Brightening Facial Treatment Mask. These are, um, first of all, this mask is like this big. I'm like, whose face <laughs> is this fitting? Maybe if you're in like a spa and you're lying down and you would wear this, it would be nice, but not for like a normal everyday thing. Um, also, I think this broke me out. So I had four more of these because it came in a box, which is apparently like a hundred and something dollar value, but I passed them on to my mom. Um, she also said, why is this face mask so big? So I don't think she likes them either. But I just didn't want to get rid of them, you know. So I don't know. Here's a Sephora aloe vera face mask. Don't remember much about that. But I know that I typically do like the Sephora ones. Um, this one is a super old one from Found. I think this is a brand you get at Walmart um, in the US. This is a brightening coconut sheet mask. I don't remember. Sorry. Here's another foot mask. The ones that I don't love as much. And another Dr. Jart 
This one is the Thermosensitive Cellulose, Cellulose Gel. I don't know. <laughs> don't remember, so I'm gonna assume I didn't love it. Now, um, this is something I just finished the other day, the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. I don't know. What, did this do anything? Do, is it just cute? I think it's just cute because I don't feel like this did really anything for me. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say <laughs> about that one. I also finished another super old one, the Paracone MD Firming Evening Repair. This is when they still made their products in glass bottles. I don't even think they do that anymore. But this was, yeah, a night serum for me. I think I liked this. But I was using this with so many other things that I'm not sure what did what anymore, but I didn't hate it, so. Yeah, but that's finally finished. Um, I also finished a Wishful Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. This was so weird. This was like, yeah, it's quite a strong scent of lavender, I believe it's supposed to be, but it smells like, yeah, lavender, honey, niacinamide, and turmeric. It smells like fragrance lavender, not like, the plant, you know what I mean? And this was like the texture of a, like a cleansing balm, but it's supposed to be a moisturizer. I don't really know if I felt like it did much, but I wouldn't repurchase it. I don't want my moisturizer to feel like jelly. I want it to be like a cream. So yeah, wouldn't repurchase that. And the fragrance was too strong for me for a face cream. Oh, this is, okay, not technically an empty, but it has to be thrown away because it expired. It expired in 2020. <laughs> this you might have seen, I've been trying to use it up for years, but I just gave up. The Drunk Elephant Umber Tint Physical Daily Defense SPF 30. Um, yeah, didn't like super love this. I really like the, the one I'm using now. What is it called? Uh, Super Goop? Ooh, I don't remember, but it's the same kind of thing. It's like a tinted SPF, but that one is SPF 40, I think, or 50. And this is just SPF 30. So, and also I feel like the tint in this is very transferable. Like if you went like this, you would see the color on your hand. So yeah, wouldn't repurchase that one. Um, I also don't feel like I need a product like that in my routine. I'd rather wear like a, just a regular SPF and then put my glowy like makeup products on top. Oh, now I have some expired lip products. So, not technically empty, but expired. This, this is not, that smells rancid. <laughs> this was a mini plumping lip balm lip treatment from Tristique. No, also the shade of this, for it being this kind of thing where you're just meant to be like, yeah, this is like a bright, pink that's going to go all over your mouth so no i was trying to use that up or get use out of it but i gave up on that oh unfortunately this went off too i remember i used to love this the rimmel um trendsetter the only one matte lipstick I think I got this from Influencer back when they used to actually send me things. <laughs> that's that's weird. It's looking weird. It has a weird spot on it. No, we're not going to put that on our lips anymore. Um, another expired lip product. This one is just a lip gloss and normally I don't get rid of 
things just because they're separated but this one will not go back together so that's how i know like the formula is not good um this was just like from a boxy charm allegory story lip gloss in plato's cave no oh here i finished a shiseido facial cotton thing i do already have another pack of these that i've been using because i found them at winners for like still $9.99 or something so it wasn't the best deal but these are like $13 now or something ridiculous but I love them. I can't go back to anything else. Um, another single like pack eye patch that I don't like but I did sort of like these ones. They did remind me of the Peter Thomas Roth these were the Ahava Dead Sea Osmotor Eye Mask. So I have two of those. Two of those. Oh, here's my favorite exfoliator that I think they reformulated. The Aveda Tourmaline Charged Exfoliating Cleanser. I saw that they still have an exfoliating cleanser in the same package but it doesn't say tourmaline charged anymore so I don't know if it's the same product but this was my favorite for years I think I went through like four or five of these so I would repurchase that but I keep getting exfoliators in my BoxyCharm or Ipsy so I don't need to I have two minis here. Um, my Urban Decay All Nighter Deluxe Sample that I finished, but still exciting because deluxe samples do count as like one item in my makeup inventory. Um, I have a mini Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic. This is something I used to keep in my travel bag um, and I used it up that way. I do like this, but I feel like it stings a little. So maybe it's too strong for me. Um, another serum. This one's from Skin Ink. My Daily Dose Serum Cocktail. Oh yeah, this is the one that's all like little balls. Like it's very gimmicky. Um, there's dust flying in the air. <laughs> I got this from, again, an Ipsy. But I think they sell this brand in Sephora, at least in the US, and it's like very overpriced, like a hundred something dollars for that. Um, then I had two mascaras, Fenty Full Frontal. I remember liking this one, but it started to flake on me, so I assumed like, I mean it's super old, so it's probably just dried out. And this Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara was flaking really badly, so unfortunately I didn't get much use out of that one, but it was already old, like when I started using it. Um, what's this? Oh, these Bosha Pore Purifying Black Charcoal Strips, those like nose strips. I have more of these, but I used one of them. They're all right, like I wouldn't use those often because they really do like peel off your skin. <laughs> like it's quite strong in the stickiness. Um, these were in my makeup, my travel makeup bag, the luxury cotton pads from Quo Beauty, but I really just prefer my Shiseido ones. So wouldn't repurchase those. Another Sephora eye mask, the pomegranate one. This was the one, yeah, for anti-fatigue and anti-dark circles. I mainly got it because it said anti-fatigue, but I don't remember it if it did anything. I don't remember. More expired lip products. My e.l.f. <laughs> lip scrub that's hard as a rock that doesn't actually scrub anymore. Um, I have to get rid of that, but that's okay. That product's like, I don't know, three dollars. I have a mini dusty belief moisturizing eye balm. I do remember really liking this. I would repurchase this 
um, if I need it to. I don't because I have so many eye creams. Oh, I have another essential oil. Okay, I don't remember. This one is Jade Lemon. Ooh, that smells good. I have another one of these, so don't need to repurchase that one. And then the last three products are um, lip products that are expired. This one, oh, this is one, look at this, can you? <laughs> it's so disgusting. I don't even want to touch this. It's so sticky. This is one NARS. I don't know if they still have this kind of packaging where it would just get disgusting. Like, it just like degrades. I don't even know how to explain it. But this was one of my favorites. I might have to repurchase this, but I only will if they change the packaging. This was Shiap. Is that how you say it? S C H I A P. This was like pre even YouTube days, so that's how old that is. But this is the kind of lip product I used to wear because I didn't wear any other makeup. I just wear like an extremely bright lipstick and mascara and sometimes black liquid liner. Um, this is Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Cream in C211. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why am I getting rid of this? Because it smells like death. No, that's, that's terrible. And then the Anastasia Christian lip gloss. Yeah, no, it smells really bad. <laughs> I don't know why I have to smell all these things, but because if they're in my empties as opposed to my like declutter or like pass on, it's because they're rotten. So I have to remember that next time and not smell them. Anyway, that was everything in this bag, which I can now get rid of. It's like ripped and full of dust. Ugh, yeah, so hopefully I will get back to my regular, regularly <laughs> scheduled empties, which are usually like every season. I don't usually wait like over half a year to film these videos, but yeah. Um, I hope you liked it. I have to get rid of all this stuff now, but yeah, that's it. So if you like this video, <laughs> Give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.